Hi, how are you? It's Iris Klaassen and I'm just doing a very quick video while my colleagues are outside in a meeting and I am very tired so just want to apologize beforehand for any stupid things I say. I'm trying to live off coffee today and loads of candy. Somebody thought it was a good idea to buy in two kilos of candy and chocolate and we're only eight people at work today so well I guess somebody has to sacrifice and that's gonna be me. Anyways, um, just wanted to do a very quick video on the application insights and log analytics. Um, I'm not good at either of those but um, I want to share with you how you can do queries across all your application insights resources. Uh, this is something I found to be very handy, particularly for us as we're having some issues right now. So we have a system with several services. We have about 10 different services and each of them have their own application insights resource. And the reason we say it, set it up like that was so we could get more overview of the separate services because they're supposed to be independent of each other although they're not quite. So it's not really a microservice architecture. Um, it's like mini monoliths. No, <laughs> it's a distributed monolith application really. But separate services, each their own application insights resource. But thankfully you can do queries across them. Now we've been having issues with one of our services. Our calculation engine has been throwing exceptions. I want to see if that correlates with anything else that's going on in the other applications or the other services. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. I think our exception rate was uh, at 80 exceptions per second, uh, which, I don't know, that's a lot, isn't it? It feels like a lot. We shouldn't be having any of those. We do have global exception handlers, uh, and if you've been having issues setting up application insights with, um, with Web API and the ASP.NET Core, I'll write some separate blog posts and maybe even do some videos on that because we had a couple of issues there, and particularly uh, with capturing uh, exceptions. Uh, for some reason, we had problems with our dynamic uh, instrumentation key. We use Octopus Deploy to deploy and set our different uh, configuration variables for different environments and our uh, our key, our application insights instrumentation key is dynamic depending on the environment and we had issues with that. But that's a separate, that's a separate video, a separate blog post and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the portal and you know, can see my face anymore. So see you in the portal and I'll show you how to do cross resource queries in Log Analytics. Ciao! Hello again, so you get to see my face a little bit more. I hope that's okay. I'm just gonna leave this camera on and record my face if you for some odd reason want to see that. Anyway, so I'm in the portal now and I am looking at one of our services, our aggregation engine. This is our application insights resource for that service. And I've chosen that one because it's a bit more quiet uh, right now not much happening it's the end of the week and people have mostly done their budgets and plans and so on so I want to go to analytics and whenever you see this icon it's gonna go ahead and open the chart you're on in analytics with the query for that chart so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time and it's done that now I'm not actually particularly interested in this query so I'm just gonna close it down as you can see here, the active uh, resource we are using is for aggregation engine. Now, as you maybe see here, you can see here, you can you can add other data sources if you want to, uh, and you can also go ahead and add other application insights as resources as favorites. So you go ahead and then you select update, and then when you go back, it's gonna come up here on the favorites. You don't have to do that for what we're going to do now, though. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new query window and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I am doing. Now, usually if you go ahead and just write, for example, requests, it's going to go ahead and pull out all the requests for that particular resource you're on. And I got about 1,500 records for the last 24 hours. So I'm going to change that to 6 hours and it should be a little bit less. Actually, no. Oh, that's true, because I made a new deploy uh, to Application Insights, so that's true. Now, so this is just going to pull out the request for that particular resource, but what I wanted to do is go ahead and do a query across several Application Insights resources, and you can do that by using this method here. 
app and inside it you go in and you add for example the name of the application inside its resource that you want to query and for example we have our uh, calculation engine which I talked about now I can type that and here I can type requests for example and go ahead and hit go and it's going to, to grab out um, the late last few records for the last few six hours which is about 75 of them now if I want to include uh, do the query and have the requests for our calculation engine as well as the aggregation engine I'm just going to add uh, right requests here like so and that should add it actually no because you do need to do one more thing uh, you need to make sure that this is a union so I'm just gonna go ahead here like so because otherwise it won't know how to put the data together so once I've done that it's going to go and query across the two resources which is really neat now I didn't want it to, to pull out a request I wanted to grab exceptions and I'm going to do that uh, exceptions I'm way too tired I'm just going to do a copy and paste um, like so, so now I get exceptions for those two services, not a lot really, and ooh, ah, ah, I see a new one I didn't see earlier, that's not cool, uh, I need to take care of that. But I'm going to go ahead and add a few more of our services, and for example I want to include administration, uh, and I also want to go ahead and include our main service which mostly talks to the client and does just very basic uh, update stuff. And as you can see, we get a few exceptions down here. And uh, once we have those, and this is the neat part, so I'm actually doing this query across four different resources now. And what's really cool, you can go ahead and create a chart based on the result below. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see the chart. Now this chart isn't very readable as is. So I'm going to change from severity level to uh, item count. Um, that's interesting for me. Uh, and also I want to go ahead and, da -da 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 -da, and add uh, the app name as well so I can see the item count for the different applications uh, or yeah, services. And as I can see that in our main one we've had quite a few here. We had a spike here early in the morning and I can see some throughout and I actually thought that calculation engine would have the most uh, exceptions but it's only had a few and main seems to be a bit more of a problem than I originally thought and that's uh, really interesting so charts like this can be very handy to pin on a dashboard which you simply select here and then you go ahead and you select the shared dashboard Shared dashboard is a dashboard you've already created and then selected to share. So not uh, usually when you create a dashboard, it's going to be private. So you want to share it so it's accessible for other people as well that have access rights to those particular resources. All right, so that's all I wanted to show. Uh, I hope that was helpful uh, for you. And uh, if you know any cool tips and tricks with Log Analytics, let me know. And I'm still learning this stuff. I'll make sure to share with you. And thank you for watching, and I'm way tired to keep talking, but thank you for spending some time with me. Have a lovely weekend and a lovely day. Goodbye.